Welcome to Self-Publishing Authors, home for candid talks and honest recommendations from book editing to book marketing, from author journeys to inspirations, hosted by Gurhan Demirkan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are here and my name is uh, Gurhan. I am with uh, selfpublishingauthors.com. I am one of the founders and I am joining uh, to this meeting from uh, Austin, Texas and Sandra. She's joining from Texas also. Yes, there is yes. one more Texan. Yes, and that is Jenny, Jenny Rosenblum. She is also from Texas, and we have an oddball here, guys. Come on, <laughs> Christy Wagner. No. Yes, uh, she is from Wisconsin. That's okay, the cheese country, you know. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, these ladies, these beautiful ladies are all reviewers, by the way. Uh, for the exception that uh, Jenny is also an editor. Uh, uh, Sandra, are you an editor at all? No. No? Okay, just, just reviewers. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's, let's make the introduction uh, much better and uh, a little bit more detailed. That's why I'm asking. And uh, so we're going to talk about uh, the reviewer life. What makes them, what makes life easier for them and what gets them ticked off and how they... Uh, review the books <laughs> uh, and all the questions and everything else. And the first question, okay? The first question is, and that usually falls on me, of course, I usually get the books and I usually distribute it to the reviewers and they always complain. So the first question is, how much advance notice do you need to read a book? Okay, so I'm looking at my screen. Sandra is the first one. Go ahead, Sandra. Oh, lucky me. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> usually maybe a month or two if it's like a big book. Uh -huh. What's a big book? Um, um, over 300 pages. Over 300 pages. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If if I'm doing this through Fiverr, which is usually just an ebook, Kindle, maybe 100 pages or less, maybe like two, three days. Okay. I can easily read that in maybe a day and a half and then get that done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's about 300 pages. That's about a week, maybe we can help. Yeah. Yeah. More or less. Okay. More or less. Uh, I, I know <laughs> we have some speed readers. How about you, Christy? <laughs> Two hours, right? Three, 300 pages. <laughs> Honestly, that's about how long it took me to read the first book. Um, but <laughs> it depends on, you know, if the kids nap at the same time or how <laughs> yes. much house cleaning I have to do, but no, um, uh, usually I can accept something right away. I've always almost got three or four books going at the same time. So, Oh, nice. Nice. So what, what uh, are we going to say? Like maybe a couple of days or 300 yeah. pages. Yeah. That's cool. What about you, Jenny? Um, I'm booked out six months in advance on my reading schedule. <laughs> Um, I was afraid I, to ask you this question. I know, about that. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, but I leave, I leave two slots for you each month now, starting in January. Oh, wow. um, I try oh. not to book more than a dozen reviews a month. Um, keep it down to ten if possible. Um, so I usually now that you're now that you have official slots, I I just need a couple of weeks' notice to get you into one of those slots, and then. I mean, up to 500 pages, I can get done in three days. Um, so, but yeah, I already have bookings for like next summer. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> I would have so. I've been, <laughs> I, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> so. Yeah, she, she's all, she's only 28 years old, guys. Don't, yeah. don't listen yeah. to her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> usually, okay. usually I ask for a timeline, like okay. if, do mm -hmm. you, how soon do you need me? That way I can, you know, rearrange right. the schedule, you know, move things around depending on when they, when they need the review. And the answer is usually yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like education. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so, so we got the book. We have two days or one week or whatever. Uh, in somebody's case, six months down the road. Okay. <laughs> so, when you guys get the uh, book, what's the first thing you guys check? 
you know, a glimpse when you just receive the book. What about you, Christy? Uh, I look at the title and the cover. I uh, am really bad at judging books by their covers, but I look for something that's attractive to look at because I will often buy the physical copy and display it in my library, so. Wow, okay. Uh, do we wanna see your library? <laughs> uh, I can walk you guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna ask you. On my blog, so. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, I saw the yeah, picture. Yeah, yes. that is my library. Yes, that's cool, <laughs> nice. What about you, Jenny? What's the first thing you like? I turn it over and read the blurb. I, I don't, I ignore the cover. I, I want to read, you know, that first and then I'll go back to the cover. So. Oh, wow. Okay. The, the, the blurb. What about covers you, Sandra? Are, we do a lot of indies. So covers sometimes are, the story could be really great and the cover could be really awful. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Yes. What about you, Sandra? Um, usually I um, open it up, leaf through it, see how big the chapters are going to be, how you know, if anything pops up at me right away, what kind of language, you know, it's, if the letters are too small or too big, that usually gives me a, a preview of oh. what to expect. Yeah. Okay, so you look at the formatting of the book, actually. Correct. Okay, so did, do you ever look at the... Uh, uh, the cover, you know? Oh, yes. Just to judge? I do, but mm, I usually don't go by the cover. No? Oh, that's I interesting. I usually don't go by the cover. I look at it, but I don't, uh -huh. you know, it, it doesn't persuade me either way. I right, so you got, you read the book and then you just start reviewing it, actually, not the cover. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I look at the cover first <laughs> because I design cover design covers. So <laughs> that's probably I don't, why. <laughs> yeah, I don't design covers, but uh, you know we we publish books, so cover has to be what I what I call it a scroll stopper, because people mm -hmm. scroll 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 and then they stop at the cover. Unfortunately, that is the the thing in these days. True. Yes, yes, yep. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll skip the cover. Okay, so whatever you look at. Does that give you an immediate idea of the cover? You know, does the review process start in your head? What about you, Jenny? Let's start with you. No, I, I really try. I used to, but no more. Um, I really try to give everybody um, the first 50 to 100 pages before I form an opinion. So I, I, I don't let it set the tone. I don't read reviews of other people ahead of time. I, I just... I don't want to know someone else's opinion. I don't want to have a preconceived notion. I just want to read it like I just picked it up off the shelf. Oh, nice. What about you, Sandra? Well, if the cover has like maybe the characters, mm -hmm. like if they have a picture of what the character might look like, it gives me an idea once I start reading, especially dialogue. I look at the picture and I'm like, oh, I can picture them talking to each other. It helps oh. make a picture in my mind of, of what the storyline. So you go like. visual, actually. You kind of visualize yeah. all the scenes and uh, characters. Exactly. Like a little mi mi mini movie in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Christy, what do you do? Uh, it's a good thing I went last because I'm a combination of both of them. Uh, <laughs> I like to imagine it in my head uh, but also I read a lot of books on Kindle so I don't really look uh -huh. at the cover while I'm reading um, and I mean obviously sometimes there's characters but sometimes it's just a design or text so I don't really form an opinion based on that. Mm -hmm. Wow okay so all this and reading the book takes two days <laughs> or two hours. I mean, whatever you just told me, that's like a half an hour for me, you know? <laughs> I read about a page a minute, so. What, what did you say? I read about a page a minute, so. Page a minute. Okay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your pages must be about this big. My pages must be about that big. <laughs> it depends on the content. Some stuff you go through quicker, some stuff takes a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we got the book. We got the idea 
Uh, some people look, looked at the uh, blurb, cover, whatever. What is your review process? Just from top, top to bottom. What about you, Sandra? Do you want to start? Hmm. My review process, um, I like to take notes as I go along, either on, um, right. on a paper or if I'm reading a, an actual book, highlight, notes in the margin, all that good stuff, pretending I'm back in school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then once once I finish the book, I put all my notes on my Word document and then just brainstorm. Just oh. try and convey my thoughts and ideas. And once I get an idea of what I'm gonna be writing, I, I uh, compose it into a into a document. Into, and from there, I just cut and paste to, well, right now I, I do them on WordPress. Mm -hmm. So I just cut and paste to WordPress and that's usually how I do it. So let's say that it takes about a couple of days or maybe a week to read the book and you take notes. How long mm -hmm. does it take for you to write the review? Uh, about a day. About a day? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I write my first draft in a day and then like I go back maybe a day or two after and mm -hmm. reread it, see if there's anything I need to change, you know, clear, clear eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. that, I go back and a... recheck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. What about you, Christy? Um, I sometimes take notes. I sometimes don't. Um, I like to take note of things that stand out. Like uh -huh. if there's a character development that's going really well, or honestly, if there's a grammatical error, I will make note of that. Um, and I have a little notebook that I kind of just write everything in and look at back at when I'm writing the review. But sometimes I'll make a note in my Kindle. Sometimes I'll, I have transparent sticky notes to put on my books so I don't actually mark up the books. Uh, and then I pull those out when I'm done. Um, and then I kind of look through it and try and be detailed without giving too much information. And, you know, make sure I've got everybody's name spelled right or the location correct or something like that. And, you know, the, the pre-work is most of the time for the review and then the actual writing is maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Sometimes you take notes, sometimes you don't. Yeah, if I don't take notes, it takes longer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> good point. <laughs> How about you, Jenny? I, I tend to um, take notes if something sticks out that it's like, okay, I wanna make sure that I highlight this in the review or something that I see that's unique. Um, I will take notes, um, but I do it all on my computer. So I have a Word document open for my reviews with the title and I just, you know, t put in my notes as I'm going along. Um, and I'd say by the time I get done with the book, my review is probably 50% ready. I, I then go and wordsmith it and I let it sit overnight. I like mm -hmm. to let it, you know, I like to sleep on it, so to speak, and then come back the next day, read it through, and then put it into my blog. And as soon as I'm done, it's it's just posted everywhere because then I can check it off as done. So, <laughs> so it takes about two days for you because you leave it overnight and yeah. go back to it. Yeah. Yeah. But but during those two days, I'm not spending the whole day. I'm spending, yes. you know. 20 minutes to write it and another five, 10 minutes to go over it and post it yep. the next day. Okay, so that's the review process for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as your review goes, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna <coughs> spell out like one, two, three, four, five uh, topics. And I would like you people to rank them all when you're re reviewing a book. So the first one is, Spelling mistakes and grammar errors. What I want you to do is just keep notes or, Krista, you don't have to take a note, okay? <laughs> you keep it in mind. <laughs> we, I, old people, I, <laughs> we take notes. <laughs> okay, so the spelling mistakes and grammar errors, the plot, strength of the characters, the flow of the story, easy to read, easy to follow, et cetera, and originality. So Sandra, let's start with you. Uh, okay. Can you line them up for me? 
what's the most important and what's the least important for you? Uh, the, the F, oh, they're all important, of course. Yes. But yeah, go ahead and rank them up for me. Um, the flow, the story, how easy, how easily the story flows, how, how fast I can read it, easy to follow. That, that's the most important thing to me. Because if, if, if I can't follow it, then am I going to finish? <laughs> how, how hard is it going to for, for somebody else? to finish the book. Okay. So that's the most important thing to me. What about the second one? Give me a second one. Uh, the plot, the story. Plot. How credible, I guess it goes with originality. It uh -huh. doesn't really have to be an original story, but you know, maybe that they have some, some new concepts to go uh -huh. with that story. It might not be original, which is fine, but if it's still interesting, then it's okay. Yeah. It doesn't really have to be original. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jenny? I'm always about the characters. It's got to have good characters. They don't even have to be human, but they just got to be good characters. Um, but that's my number one. I want fully formed, totally developed, believable, even when they're fairies, characters. Um, but then I think the plot and the flow kind of go together. You know, that's that's kind of the second, because if the plot is awful, it doesn't matter how easy it is to read or follow, you know, it, it kind of has to work together. So that's my, my second. I've got to be able to follow everything. I hate disconnects. I hate, you know, things that are just left hanging. So <laughs> we're going to have to have a talk with uh, the husband. <laughs> <laughs> by the way i i know him too yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we've met real life people so <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so do you want to give me the third one um you know i'd like to say that i this is not my third one but i really get irritated by spelling and grammar mistakes it i was waiting for so long <laughs> I mean, it just, I, I try not to be, and I, but it's like, oh my gosh, everything you does, do has autocorrect on it. Come on, people. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> but the tense of things, though. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes me stumble every time I'm reading. It makes me stop and go, okay, there's one. And, and then I'm keeping track of them and I'm not paying attention to the story. And it's just it's distracting. distracting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they are distracting yeah. you. Yeah. What about you, Christy? Spelling mistakes. One. Say spelling mistakes. Yeah, that's no, my, my first. first grammar. grammar and spelling. <laughs> yes. Because, and I think that goes really well with flow because if I am noticing issues, I'm pausing mm -hmm. and I'm stopping and it's interrupting my reading. And I hate that. So grammar is my number one because every time I see something, it's a big red flag. And you know, autocorrect. It's it's out there. Why don't we use it? Grammarly is a free yes. service. It's out there. Like, come on. Um, but yeah, and then I think the plot and characters are next. The the flow is obviously really important, but it kind of meshes with all of the things. Um, and originality is probably the least important for me too, just because, you know, like Sandra and Jenny both said, you know, as long as it's interesting, it can be similar to other things, like, you know every fairy book follows the same general format, but, yeah. you know, we keep reading them because there's differences and, you know, there's new characters, there's new themes. And I think that, you know, as many retellings of things that we have, you know, we're, we're still interested in them because there's something new. Yeah. Yeah. That creativity is working yeah. on the, yeah. And the back end. Yes. That's cool. But I agree with you. Spelling mistakes. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I start, uh, but again, we publish books and we publish books, uh, uh, people, authors coming from Turkey, and uh, they sometimes translate books into English themselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know Jenny, Jenny has seen a few of them. It took about two minutes or three minutes later, I got, I got this email back. It's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure, Sandra, do you have any people coming from uh, like uh, south of the border saying, hey, I have a book. Would you translate this into English or anything like that? No, they already have it translated. 
Yes. Like I've worked, I've worked with authors who have it in Spanish and uh -huh. I can read Spanish. I can write Spanish. Yeah. So I write the review in Spanish. So that's uh -huh. not a problem, but I've never been asked to translate anything. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. It, it takes a long time. It, it's, it's yeah. another process. You have to know the, both cultures, you know, in, even in if English. You run it through, even if you run it through a translator, you have to go through it to make right. sure. Yes. You know, sometimes yes. it doesn't translate correctly. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I always give this example. What's up? Go ahead. Go ahead. Translate this to Korean. You know, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Korean, coming back to our review process. Uh, do you guys look at the other reviews? You know, look around. I see Christy going no. What about you? <laughs> Sandra's going yes. <laughs> yes, you know why? Because maybe they missed something. I mean, maybe I missed something that somebody else didn't. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Maybe they somebody else picked up on something I missed. I'm like, oh, it might not influence my review, but mm -hmm. it will give me a totally new ah, view on. on yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I agree. I do it afterwards, like. If I've yeah. already got my review and I want to go, okay, something's not sitting right, you know, then I will maybe go back and look and see, okay, am I the only one that noticed that, you know, this character right. slept in a diner <laughs> for six days, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Christy, do you look, you don't look. I look after because I after. like, you know, they said, I don't want it to influence my review, but also it's nice uh -huh. to see like, you know, it, reading is like art right it's you know it is what it is to whoever is reading it so something might mean something different or come across differently to me than it does to other people and it's kind of nice to see those other angles but i like to do mine first because that's my angle sure yes and uh so you don't look at the reviews you look at the reviews afterwards or beforehand if, if that's that's okay what about the author you guys uh, research the author? What about you, Sandra? Do you? Mm, no, not really. Unless, no? because my review usually links to the author website. So the only re reason that I would research is, is to find the author website. Oh, okay. And of course, once I'm there, I read up on it, but it, it doesn't have anything doesn't... to do with the review. Oh, mm -mm. okay. What about you, Christy? I don't really look into it at all. I do, however, purchase books based on authors I've read before, though. So if I'm like, oh, I read Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I loved it, I'm going to buy her next book just because I'm not going to yeah. do any research. I'm just going to buy it because I liked it mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Well, Jenny, what about you? If I don't recognize the author's name, I do a quick Google search. I want to know, have they written other things? You know, is this their first book or their 12th? um is you know am I picking up something that they thought was going to be a series and now isn't or you know what is what is the placement of this book in their repertoire so I I do look at the authors okay so you must know just about any author yeah you know if she doesn't recognize the author <laughs> <laughs> like I said I've been doing it a long time <laughs> so. that's what I was going to say <laughs> um so we got the review process and uh, reviews and everything else. So, and everything comes down to stars, four stars, five stars, okay? Question is, what does it take to give five stars? I'm gonna start with you, Jenny. <laughs> I knew you would. I know, I know you're very <laughs> tough on the- I That's rarely I give a five star review. I'm just, I read way too much. Um, I, I think with the editor mind, I see the mistakes um, where if I'm just reading for pleasure, it's very different. I have trouble separating those two. Um, so it takes, it's got to be perfection between formatting, grammar, typos, all that kind of stuff. It has to keep me totally immersed in the story. And it has to be something, I never do this, but it has to be something I would consider rereading because it was that good. And I'm going to be oh. passing on to other people. So, yeah, it's, okay. it, yeah, I do give five stars. They're just, you know, sporadic. It's hard to come by. <laughs> yeah. 
I knew that. And that's why uh, Jenny is the first one that I send the books to. It's like, Jenny, what do you think? You know, if it takes two minutes to uh, uh, get an email back, it's like, okay, we're not reviewing this book. <laughs> what about you, Christy? Um, I think that if there are any grammatical errors at all or things like that, like it's automatically down a star because that to me is really important. And again, really stops me in the flow of reading. Um, and I think just that as long as it's engaging and interesting and keeps me wanting to read it because I have so much other stuff going on, you know, the rest of the stars fall into place with that. Okay. How about you, Sandra? Five stars, well, like what does it take? Mm, it takes a really in interesting story, a really engrossing story. Like, if it's really interesting, I can finish it may maybe over the weekend, one, two days. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, plus, um, are, were, are, were the characters interesting? Were they relatable? That, that has a lot to do with, I don't give them out too often. <laughs> oh, oh, we have another Jenny. <laughs> Good for you. Yes, have yes. standards. Yes. <laughs> if, 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 I can, if I want to recommend the book to somebody, then yeah, that's that's a big five star. If I tell oh. my friends, hey, you need to check this book out. You know, it, it was interesting. It's good. Then that would be a five star. That's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you're not giving out five stars. Okay. When, this year, I think I only had one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe you should just tell us what that book is. <laughs> Actually, it was I made a note of it. Assassin's Lullaby by Mark Rubinstein. Yes. Uh, is that a good book? Nice. Yeah, it, it's, um, it's told through the point of view of an assassin for hire. <laughs> yeah. You get to okay. see their internal dialogue, yeah. their conflicts, if they have any... Uh -huh. What brought them? What brought him to become an assassin? Yeah. So I thought okay. it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would read it again if I had time. I would read it again. <laughs> well, I think you can give out more five stars, but there are definitely standout ones. The yeah. I read the villains duology by V. E. Schwab recently, and I could not put it down. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think we should ask Jenny? I don't read, I read hardly any traditionally published. Uh -huh. So, I mean, they're always on my wish list, um, but all my stuff is, you know, it's all indies and small presses and stuff. So yeah. yeah, my best yeah. author is probably Anita Dickinson who writes FBI tracker thrillers. Um, and she's just started a cozy misty series. In fact, Kirk has just named her one of the 33 books you should have been reading last year. So, wow. Yeah. Mm. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Not, not pretty cool. Yeah. So, when does the book start going towards three and lower? <laughs> when does it go? <laughs> Uh, Sandra, I know you don't give out five, so let's start with four stars, okay? <laughs> the, the well, three stars maybe, the dreaded grammatical errors, okay. the misspellings, if I have to stop several times and start again, it, it just disrupts the flow. Uh -huh. It's just a big, even though I don't put it in my review, I don't mm -hmm. base it for my review, but deep down, if I, if there were too many grammatical errors, who was the editor? <laughs> yeah, that's Definitely not Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> that's a make it or break it for me. Yes. Yeah, it would probably be three stars if you had too, way too many. Way too many. Uh, yeah. I know what Christy is going to say. Grammar. Grammar. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So format is another big one. Um, if it jumps around and it's unclear like when or where things are happening, I really don't like that. Uh, but, you know, it, that's a fine format. It just needs to be done well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shall we ask Jenny about uh, her three stars and less than I three stars? I agree with both those things. And it's more yeah. of the, it, it's the disconnects. Okay, yeah. I'm not... I'm not following this. It's taking way too much effort to read this. Um, 
especially if it's fiction versus nonfiction, it shouldn't take that much effort. Um, it should be smooth. Um, mm -hmm. Characters that aren't believable or suddenly change in the middle of the book with no explanation, or, you know, all that, anything that disrupts the flow. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, definitely a three or less than three, right? <laughs> yeah. Two or, yeah. <laughs> two. <laughs> I know when that goes down to like three, down to three, uh, Jenny doesn't review it. It's I don't just, review. If it's a one or a two, I don't. I don't. I don't write a review. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, that's I write, a good I thing. I contact the author. I don't write the review if they've asked uh, me to read it. So. Yeah. Sometimes I get, uh, like the other day, I got, uh, uh, I believe from Romania author. And uh, so I said, uh, give me the link to your Amazon. And uh, he did. And I'm looking. I said, let me just make it very clear to you. I'm not reading your book. I'm just trying to check to see if it's edited <laughs> because I, I am doing this for you. If I send this to the reviewers, they're going to shred it if it's not edited. <laughs> he goes, oh, yes, please do. <laughs> so, yes, uh, grammar errors, spelling errors, that's, that's a no-no for me either. So, okay. So uh, having said the author, this is a question coming from me. Of course, you all know that we do uh, reviews uh, on a uh, uh, video cast like this. So if I were to invite uh, the author, and of course we are reviewing his or her book, and we are nitpicking saying, oh, the format is bad. Well, how come the character just jumped from this to that? You know, um, Do you think it is okay with you? Uh, because author is there. And now he or she is defending herself. Do you think that would be okay? Yes, no? How about you, Sandra? I don't know, because usually, you know, after the book is published, you know, it's really hard to be telling him, well, you know, the format yes. or, uh -huh. I mean, after the fact. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he, it, it'd be. It could be, yeah. How about you, Christy? I think no, because no. I think it's useful to have feedback and information, but I think that in real time, it can make an author feel very defensive and it's best to be just kind of given, you know, afterwards. And so they can like look at it and take it at face value rather than feeling like their work is being attacked. Uh. Yeah, well, they, they get very, very sensitive of their work. Uh, you can <laughs> say that again. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Jenny? What yeah, do you think? You, you, I don't feel comfortable telling them their baby no. is ugly on no. screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think I, I think what could work is something where it's more of a, why did you write this story? What is the uh -huh. story behind it? How did you come up with these characters? Why did you think of this plot? Whatever. I think that could be really interesting um, without saying, you know, oh my God, the 73 typos. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Or, hey, your characters are all airheads or whatever. You know, it's like, you know, how did you develop the characters? What did you think? And okay. Yeah. 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 So, in other words, uh, uh, inviting him over just to talk about his book and how he wrote and what he wrote and Mm -hmm. yes yeah okay yeah and uh we should do that on uh four or five stars mm -hmm. yes <laughs> definitely <Yeah. laughs> rather than shredding the guy into pieces you know <laughs> in front of a camera <laughs> yes because i have done email q and a's where i just write my list of of questions and then have the publisher the editor whoever speaking for him or her send it send it and then once it's done I publish it like an interview like ah, Q&A that's Q &A. I've done those before and that way yeah. it's it's more like you know tell me about your your story yeah. or how you came up with that sort of mm -hmm. yes yeah. yeah that's cool so when you're writing what could be better of this book so you review the book what could be better do you write it for the author Hey, Mr. or Mrs. Author, this is what I'm writing. Listen to this. Or do you write it for the readers? 
could have been better if the book were blah, blah, blah. How do you write your could be better? To the author, to the reader? Jenny. To the reader. Reader? Yeah, it's, it's definitely to the reader because some things that I don't find appealing might actually be right up somebody's alley, you know? So if mm -hmm. it's like, you know, that I didn't like the dialogue or whatever, somebody else could, and I've done that before looking for my personal reads, I'll read a review that's actually two-star review, but it says, I didn't like it because the characters were too in-depth and it was too much of a plot. And I'm thinking, oh, this is right up my alley. I, I'll try this book. So yeah, I'm totally addressing the reader. Reader? What about you, Christy? You're next. I address the reader too, because reader. you know it's like, well, this is an issue that I had, you might not kind of thing, very similar. And I'll be honest, my only three-star review for my book was a comment about how it wasn't for some age group. And I'm sitting here thinking, it says on the cover what age group it's for. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, it doesn't, you know, yeah. bad reviews aren't necessarily good criticism. Yeah, of course. Construction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Sandra? Well, I address the readers. I have, I prefer to end my review with it. You know, it is recommended for fans of sci-fi or mm -hmm. you'll like this one if you prefer historical dramas or Westerns. I try mm -hmm. to, st you know, okay. address so, the, the specific reader. Yeah, if, not specific. Like, every read is not for everybody. Yeah, yeah every of course. Every is not for yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, uh, these are all my questions. I'm sure there are so many of them. Um, any of you would like to add anything? Maybe, maybe not, or everybody wants to go home. <laughs> I just need to pick Jenny's brain later because I want to get into editing. So <laughs> ah, anytime, okay. anytime. In fact, yes. I was going to suggest, Gurhan, that maybe you could give us each other's contact information and blog sure. sites because yeah. I'd like to follow the other two ladies. So yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> because I am brand new to this. <laughs> She's yeah. too green. We're going to you know, <laughs> bring up the speed. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I have to send it to Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> or come down to Texas and defrost for a while. <laughs> yes, maybe we should meet in Texas. Yes, Sa uh, Sandra is in Texas. We are all in Texas. Hey, yeah. Uh, Christy, what are you doing up there in the cold? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, ladies, and uh, this is actually the end. I want to thank you, every single one of you. And uh, I'm going to post this up, and I am sure some authors will be interested in watching this because, you know, this is a review process. They should have an idea mm -hmm. uh, from the very, you know, real life reviewers, what they look at and mm -hmm. what they should look out for. Okay. Thank sure. you very much again. Thank you. Thanks for you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bye bye. Welcome to Self Publishing Authors, home for candid talks and honest recommendations from book editing to book marketing, from author journeys to inspirations. Hosted by Gurhan Demirkan. 